Unwrapping the phrase, exploring, open your present. Hello everyone, in today's video, we're going to dive into a common English phrase, open your present. This phrase is simple yet packed with cultural and linguistic nuances. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced English learner, understanding phrases like this can greatly enhance your conversational skills. So, let's get started. Open your present is a phrase that combines two words, open and present. Open here means to uncover or reveal something that is closed or covered up. It's an action word or a verb. Present, in this context, refers to a gift or something given to someone on a special occasion. It's a noun representing a physical object. Together, the phrase is commonly used during celebrations like birthdays or holidays, inviting someone to unveil a gift given to them. In many English-speaking cultures, giving presents is a way to show affection, celebrate milestones, or appreciate someone. The act of opening these presents is often a shared experience, filled with excitement and anticipation. It's not just about the gift itself, but the emotional connection it represents. So, when someone says, open your present, they're inviting you to partake in a moment of joy and celebration. This phrase can be used in various situations. It's most appropriate during birthday parties, Christmas celebrations, or any gift-giving occasion. It can be said with enthusiasm and a smile, as it's a part of a happy and festive moment. If you're at a gathering and someone hands you a gift, responding with a simple, thank you, I will open it now, acknowledges the gesture warmly. There are a few variations of this phrase. You might hear, go ahead and open your present, or why don't you open your present? These variations carry the same meaning but might be used in slightly different contexts or tones. Regardless of the variation, the underlying message of excitement and sharing a special moment remains the same. Open your present is more than just a phrase. It's an invitation to share in a moment of happiness and connection. We hope this video has helped you understand not just the words, but the cultural richness behind them. Remember, learning a language is not just about words, but also understanding the emotions and context they convey. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.